possible for Stanford considering that their opener was canceled. So they have yet to play a game. This is their opener. Point line actually moved back. We saw many stepping back on the, especially in the corner, stepping back on the out of bounds line, trying to get that corner. What Nate Oates wants to do, especially offensively at Alabama, and he gives them tremendous freedom, especially if you can shoot the three. Petty inside to Jones, puts it in. And worked on his three point shooting a lot over the summer as well. Williams had a look, instead dishes it out. And on the win week, Williams is selfless and is not afraid to give it up no matter what the situation may be. And one of the things that you're going to hear a lot about him, and which is so important, especially as we see a nice move on the them that opportunity. Cover your ears, Alabama fans, but he told us yesterday, he was asked, who's your favorite player? And the first words out of his mouth, he went to Auburn. You can't, you can't play that. I can't that believe the you told on Nate Oates like that. What stays, <laughs> what happens on the Sunday Zoom stays on the Sundays. Talk about roll tide. Oh, she is going right. to get, she is coming for you. Oh, Roy Philpott said it last night. By the way, that last three by Reese. And now the bucket gives him his first five. A year ago, averaged 8.8 .8 points per game coming off the bench now. But he was an integral part of all the notes a year ago. Ability to shoot that three ball. So that's one of the areas where Stanford has to recognize when he catches it. He's dangerous from beyond that arc as well. Williams already with one three. Give him two. Corralled by Stanford. Here come the Cardinal. John Davis for the point guard this year after Ty Terry was drafted. So he's really going back to his natural position. But Terry, a draft pick by the Dallas Mavericks. Shackleford all net from the corner from downtown. Stanford three for four, including two by number three, Zaire Williams. It's Herb Jones with an aggressive finish. The faster pace, average only 15.2 seconds per possession. And so Nate Oates, of course, wants to be able to pick that up this season. But it's going to be tough to do. You've got Big Blue Nation in there, 25,000 screaming on top of you in comparison to playing right now where you're playing with no fans. It is a difference maker in college basketball. Sweet look inside. And it, the problem is those who deny it. See, you can't talk about yourself a lot and then deny it. See, when you know it, then that means that you actually understand what's going on. Here's Jones down the left side, off the glass and count it. A real estate off to get the jumper in the air. Give Stanford credit Five with the, the shot clock. Covering up that Jones. three point line. Trying to feed the post, nearly stolen. Shot clock under five, off glass and count it. Big bucket for Stanford. Ten from downtown so far. You can tell Shackleford wants it. Runner is good with a bounce. Nicely done for number five and white. Bamba, a freshman record, showing his ability to be able to get to the hole, not just a shooter. And that's one of the things that you normally work on over the summertime. And they were only seven for 31 against Jacksonville State. I know Nate Oates wants to see his team shoot better, but it hasn't been a lot better thus far. Here in Ashley. They go back to, to Ty Lawson, who we talked about earlier tonight with the Tar Heels. He certainly stands out, but Bama replaced that offense as O'Connell drops in a triple from the corner. Michael O'Connell, freshman out of New York. Yeah, huge loss, losing Lewis. And, and Roy, I, I learned something. I can think about what Wimp Sanderson was able to do and the talent that they had. I mean, Jason Caffey was on that team who won rings with the Chicago Bulls. And a fresh 20, Stanford will set up the offense. Williams with 11 points, looking sharp. Five rebounds and three dimes already. Inside and another bucket. And he up with Coach Hat. Yeah, that's the book on Wills. His athleticism, his defense, all conference in that category a season ago. Williams sizing up another shot. The mid range is there. Three for 15 from beyond the arc, Alabama, with that being such a staple of what they do on the offensive end of the floor. They can't afford to go out and not shoot the ball well. Three point looks because the Stanford defender is there on the catch. Davis with the attempted jam. It goes in and out. Somehow gets it back. 
puts it in and a chance for three. And Jared Haas telling us yesterday it's a kind of an increased sense of urgency for number one in black tonight. Open look for Bruner from the wing. That's a big shot. And let's see if that gets Alabama's offense on a roll. An assist. So he goes along with the skill level that Nate Oates is looking for for all five of his players to be able to make plays not only for themselves but their teammates. Part of the reason why they run the five out offense. Williams elbow jumper first points of the second half. Missed the J there. When's the last time you jet skied Corey Alexander? You know I haven't been on one probably. Is that Petty? That's that Petty knocking First down jumper. the three. Okay, well, not the coach for the Memphis Tigers. John Petty, one of Penny's best players, along with PJ Washington, who's now starring for the Charlotte Hornets. Sound or feel right considering LeBron just cut down the nets. Feels like a few days ago. So well, you just go pull LeBron. <laughs> not the leg. Didn't shoot the three. I'm surprised by that. He. Put back is there. That's Quinterly. Alabama back in it, trailing by seven. Stanford back to work. Nice ball. Yeah, open look. There it is. In the year, they were unable to get into their arena and their practice facility, so they got into the tennis facility, put up some hoops, and worked on their shooting. Aggressive finish at the rack. Wills feeling it. The spin. And a finish with a bounce. Nicely done in traffic. Percent from three-point range leading the SEC. But a lot of that had to do with the fact that he had a guy like Carol Lewis who was creating shots for him. To make incredible passes, he has been under control. You're absolutely correct. And, you know, you have to think about the fact that he played on a loaded high school team last year. B.J. Boston, who is starring at Kentucky right now on his team, Ronnie James. He hasn't been too high, doesn't get too low, just understands how to play basketball and what his strengths are and plays to his strengths, not his weaknesses. Shackelford hit the three off the turnover. The Crimson Tide give it right back. Five guys, that's 200 minutes to go around. And so when you look at it, you know, we know how important Herb Jones is to this team. We know how important John Petty and Shackelford are. You need Quinley at the point and seen much of it for the first 30 minutes. Shot clock under 10. Beautiful cut and finish. What I was talking about before, boy, Bryce Wills now running the point guard position for the Cardinals. Extremely versatile player and read their lips. You can only imagine <laughs> what is being said to some of these players at times. <laughs> but you will never know because you can't read their lips with the mask on. The Silva, the stick back. Just hear him right now as the Pac-12 flexes here at the Camping World Maui Invitational. Well, we'll hear tomorrow when Bill Walton is calling what looks to be Jerry tomorrow. Bill Walton and Blue Ridge Ranger, a.k.a. Jason Benetti, will be on that call. <laughs> Good look inside for the flush by De Silva. To the bench for a sub, definitely something going on with his leg staying down. Again, the offensive blast and the putback. Herb Jones on the floor for Bama with four personal fouls. Lead is 20. Off the pump fake, the easy finish inside tomorrow. And at this point, we've already seen Wills go out. It seems though he's getting some attention to that right calf. Most likely a cramp. Experience because you told me earlier he's only got a couple of months in Palo Alto before he goes to the NBA. So I want to see more of number three and he's got for Stanford an opportunity to play an even better opponent tomorrow in the North Carolina Tar Heels ranked number 14 in the country sweet move by Rojas basket of count that last foul was on John Petty aspect but it's going to be different the 2020 21 class is going to have a different option to look at coming out of high school and also entering into the draft I hope so maybe go to my mailbox that's, that's probably not a bad idea. We were all in Walton's world yesterday on eight Zoom calls, as humble as we are. And I think that has translated very well tonight, Corey. Well, he has to be excited about his first viewing of his team playing against outside competition. And they have definitely passed the test today. Look forward to seeing that matchup tomorrow against North Carolina. And that'll just about do it. 82 to 64, our final score as Stanford and head coach Jared Haas cruise to the victory.